Yo, what are you saying guys? It's Jerome back again for another video. This time it is for Supergirl. Because this week is the Fortnite crossover week, baby. <coughs> and yeah, we're going to kick it off with Supergirl. And then tomorrow's going to be Flash. Oh, wait, or today, because it's Tuesday today. Today's Flash, then tomorrow Arrow, then Finale. Legend of Tomorrow, baby. So before we, before we, before we jump into this episode, let's recap on our Supergirl. What happened last week, Jerome? Well, even though they're gonna recap it here, but I want to remember it for myself first. You know, I'm sorry if I look up or down. Just this is I'm recording with two cameras. So just in case one dies during and one is still going, then I'll still have that foot camera to use. So yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm using my phone and I'm using my camera. Um, but yeah, let's recap this. What happened last week? Um, some new crazy vigilante killing everyone. Making it look like Guardian was the one doing it. So making Guardian the hated by most by the police and all that and Supergirl trying to stop him so it was up to Wynn and Jimmy and Alex to say to stop to stop this guy and get Guardian the good name reputation he had yeah <clears throat> this guy tainting his name um speaking of Alex with the week with the emotional week she had before coming out to Kara Um, and then telling Maggie how much, tell, telling Maggie her feelings for her and kissing Maggie and then Maggie hitting her with the, let's just be friends f right now, yeah? So Alex was devastated, went back home. Kara had to lift her up, get her up again, her mood up. I'm really sure nothing's wrong with nothing's wrong with you, Alex. Maggie's the one missing out here. And then what happened? Oh yeah, and then at the end of last week's episode, oh so that last week's episode, Alex was like, like, like a bit negative to Maggie, like, no, we're not friends, and then so on and so on and so on. But I get I have my feelings to you, and then you hit me with the friend zone, bum that. And then by the end of the episode, Maggie came round, came over, and asked if I want to hang out with Alex. Something like that. I can't remember it. Word for word. Um, what else? Um, Monel got kidnapped by Cadmus. Kara had to go save him. They took her blood. Hank Henshaw, aka Cyborg Superman, came in the picture. Alex and Kara's dad. Oh, I forgot his name already. Damn it. But yeah, he 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 came back, saved Alex and Monel. Um Marshall Mantle found out. Um, damn it. McGann is a white Martian. Went to fight her. He didn't kill her because she her she, her, blah. If she was gonna die, she's gonna die as McGann, human, looking as a human. John can't do that. So instead, he locks her up. He locks her up. Um, and then finds out he's turned into a white Martian. Um, and at the end of the episode, Hank Henshaw, Cyborg Superman, went to the fort. Was it the Fortress of Solitude? Yeah. With Kara's blood to ask about Project Medusa. So, with that recap, let's jump right into this episode, PayPal.
Exactly. Uh, no. No. He's trying to score points with me to impress you. Mm-hmm. Believe me, a mother knows. Oh. Carl, will you do us the honors? Oh, I saw this clip. Okay. Alex, I'm, I'm assuming Alex is one, is that she wants to come out to her mum. Because she's come out to Kara, but she hasn't come out. I've already seen this clip, so... Uh, yeah, I just wanna... Out of everybody you could've found me. In that pod, I I'm glad it was you. I'm glad it was you. I'm just gonna jump in and say there are so many things that I'm thankful for. And I, I'm honestly, that I, I don't think I've ever really felt this much like myself than, than right now. And so there's a reason for that. And that reason. Whoosh. <laughs> That was Cisco, wasn't it? Does that normally happen on Thanksgiving? Ooh, ooh. So, last night, I bet you I could get her to say what she knows. How? Recording skills. And good old fashioned sneakiness. You ain't sneaky. No problem. You guys, I can be sneaky when I want to be. Mm hmm. Nope. Woo. Who's not? I forgot this actor's name that plays um John and Hank. He's like the He's like the Tom Cavanaugh of the Supergirl world, playing multiple characters. He's not reached Tom's yet because Tom's on plays like how many characters now? So that's all humans that just ran out. Oh. Okay. That robot looks dope though. CGI. Don't destroy. Oh, okay. He can probably fix him again. I like that robot as well. Oh. That's always the beginning of a kiss when the guy does the hair like that and in the face. Yo, yo. The, fu uh, the phone stopped recording, so we're back on the camera. So, what are you saying? Let's go. You ain't the real one, though. You may be a cyborg, but you are no Superman.
Okay, Lena. it gets even better. The Medusa virus was so easily weaponized, I was able to turn it against a common enemy, Jean's white Martian blood cells. John! Hey. You look great! I feel great. <laughs> Thank you, Eliza. To be continued on the flash. All right, all right. Let my hype down for a bit. <coughs> Just seeing Flash, seeing Barry and Cisco on Super. All right. Let my hype down. All right. The only negative. Is that my damn camera died during this but other than that this was a really good episode not just because of Barry and Cisco but everything Alex finally getting the girl Maggie realizing that she likes Alex and she don't want to she doesn't want to mess it up and miss her chance I think it was getting shot in the in the shoulder blade that got her. Yeah. 
that made her realise that. Um, Lena, Lena got me. She, she got me good. Had me thinking, oh snap, she's going bad. She's gone bad. Now, now, Kara's got her own Lex. But she done twisted it. And she got me and her mum. Lena. Um, where was that, Brent? Uh, Cara and Monel. I knew, I knew Monel still, I knew Monel remembered. He was just playing it, so they don't have that conversation. Because just before, when he was in the prison, in the, in the thing, and they were playing Monopoly before he passed out, when Cara said, guys only be nice to the mom because they have a crush on the, on the, on the girl, he started to blush. He was like, and then he passed out. <clears throat> so yeah, I, kn I knew he remembered. I knew he, knew. he just, just didn't want to have that conversation. He was, he was embarrassed and nervous. Um, <clears throat> Marsh I'm happy Marshall Man are now. He's, he's cool now. See him just walking all happy and stuff at the end. Like. It's good though. Um, but yeah. I've, okay. Now I just question why definitely Marshall Manhunter and Monel or any of them are, aren't also going. Because throughout the episode I was thinking, okay. Monel ain't going to be able to go because he's hospitalised, he, he can't and John, he can't go because he got white Martian blood in him so he could just like, if he, he goes with Kara and like throughout our mission he just turns into a white Martian and starts attacking the heroes and like, oh snap, that would be dope but it would also be bad because Martian Man is strong but, and, well, and Guardian, I was thinking Guardian? Why don't he go as well? Because Jimmy weren't. Jimmy was only at the beginning of the episode. Other than that, he was, he was gone. So, but by the end of the episode, John, White Martian Blood, all gone. He's, he's good again. Monel's up and feeling better. He's good. So I'm thinking, okay. That just... Why aren't they going no more? Because they're both fit and healthy to go. But... Probably was just like a quick thing, like Kari can't wait, can't go get no one else, go come, come now. Um. <clears throat> but it would have been cool, man, to see Martian Manhunter meet Green Arrow and Flash and all of them. Because you know. Because you can see the CW world, they're getting their own Justice League. But without having the the, the main guys. Well, even Flash is the main guy. But you know what I mean. But yeah. Okay. This. The CW got their trinity now. Arrow. Green Arrow. Flash. And Supergirl. Green Arrow. He's the Batman. You have to admit it. Um, Flash, he's the Superman, and Supergirl, Supergirl, she's the Wonder Woman. Yeah, that's the Trinity of the CW verse, CW DC universe. And you know what? I'm okay with that, really. And you see, like in um in the in the trailers and stuff for the Fortnite crossover. There's a scene they showed with like all the, the heroes, Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, the legends, all of them, standing on a palladium sign with the American flag behind them. And it looked like there was like a senator sign talking, female. And that looked like just in the comics, like when, um, I think it was New 52. Yeah, yeah, I think it was, yeah. 
when the he after the heroes got together, they stood in front of. I think it was the hall of Justice, I can't remember. But yeah, sounds similar. And they did it with the the Justice League. The Justice Society with a um, Martian Man right now. Um, Catwoman. Um, Trevor, Steve Trevor, that's it. And some others. But yeah. But yeah, I can see that, yeah. Them being like the Trinity. And then they... Because I uh, read the news that come January, Legends of Tomorrow are going to come on Tuesdays for, to, for them to bring out a new show on Thursday. And everyone's assuming it's going to be Young Justice, like their Young Justice, their version, their live action. It could be, we don't know. Because it looks like they're getting the characters in place. We've got Kid Flash, we got McGann, we got Artemis, we got. We got Monel, he can be the Superboy. Because he's quite similar, isn't he? Because Superboy can't fly, Monel can't fly. I don't think Superboy doesn't have heat vision, does he? Because I've started watching Young Justice. It's really good, the cartoon, obviously. I don't think Superboy doesn't have heat vision, does he? I don't think so. Neither does Monel. Superboy can jump, leap, into the fly. I think Monel can as well. Can he? I think so. So I feel like Monel is going to be the Superboy of the CW. Uh, who else was there? It was Aqualad and Robin. Who could take over Aqualad and Robin? I don't know. Maybe Ragman? Mm. Unless they bring in new characters down the line, but other than that, you can see they're creating their own Young Justice. They could, yeah, they can even change up the 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 the, 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 the roll call. Obviously, I'm McGann, Kid Flash, Monel slash Superboy, um, Artemis. Just get two new additions. I don't know who, but yeah. But yeah, but I, I see what they're doing. They're smart. Um, but uh, other, other than that, it's really, it's really a good episode. And I was I was also curious of how they're going to do this episode because they were saying, okay, it's going to cross over with Flash. So I was thinking, is the whole episode going to have that? So what's going to happen with the the Supergirl storylines? I didn't they put on a back burner, but no. They were at the forefront, and the flash and the crossover stuff were planted within the episode, and then at the very end, Barry, with the the pool dimension at the beginning, then when Supergirl fights Henshaw, and then at the very end. But uh, yeah, other than that, the episode, I don't, I stop recording. Hold on. No, okay, good, 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 good. Other than that, the episode was really good. I can't wait for tomorrow. Flash. Ooh, it's lit. <clears throat> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry about that. The camera's always dying and changing them. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. I'm going to be doing the whole week of crossovers. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Tomorrow, well, you'll see mine, most likely, Wednesday. But yeah, peace. She been seeing me in new places. I admit I built some new relations. You was focusing on you, baby. I been bouncing between two ladies.